the feigning goat capital of the sort of of the world is Tennessee. They drove all the way to Lewisburg, Tennessee, and picked up three goats and drove all the way back. So. <laughs> Um, this one, oh, that's Danny. That's Brass Ring Danger Zone. <laughs> and that's Christmas. Sometimes they just stiffen up like that, and it's the back legs more. They, they call it myotonia. They call it myotonic goats. It's not really a true faint. They just call them fainting goats because it looks like fainting. Um, but when, when they're really scared, they just topple over like that, you know, and they don't move. And it's for between about 20 or 30 seconds. <laughs> this is why I've been reluctant, because I really hate scaring my goats, really. Um, it's just some paperwork you fill out with some photographs, and of course, if you know their lineage, you do it. But I have to take a picture of them fainted. I have to give them five pictures, like this side and that side, and I don't know that side and that side. But I have to have one with them fainted, and I've really been reluctant to do that. So, you know, I, I haven't tried to try. <laughs> What is she doing? Hey, They're all three registered. They all have their papers. Yeah, so uh, one, two are considered premium, which means they're traced all the way back to their, is it three generations? And then um, one is considered you know, heritage, and that means she's traced all the way back uh, two generations. They accidentally faint. If I let out my little terrier, they might faint. Um, the umbrella I bought, and I bought it for an umbrella, but it occurred to me, I've seen it on the internet that they faint, or some a really loud noise like a car horn. I don't, they look so vulnerable, <laughs> I don't know. But, but also, I mean, I never, you know, I didn't grow up as a kid thinking I'd like, necessarily like goats, I've always loved animals. But they are the most affectionate animals, they really are.